Shoulder impingement is one of the most common things we see in private practice, often presenting as pain down the outside of the arm or through the front of the arm here. Patients will usually describe pain as they lift their arm out to the side. As they get the arm above the head, often the pain can reduce or it can get worse. But the most important thing is as you're reaching to put your arm in a rucksack or through a jacket sleeve or reaching for a seatbelt in a car, you get that twang of pain that comes through the arm. Now if we look at the anatomy, what we have is this humerus or arm bone, and then we have the scapula or shoulder blade. Now the function of these two, they need to work together to make sure that we don't get an approximation in this little space here. Now that little space doesn't have much room for the tendons to run through and insert onto the arm. So as you lift the arm, it's really important that these, t these uh, muscles through here called the rotator cuff are responsible for depressing and rotating that humeral head out of the way so it doesn't get pinched. Sometimes if they're not doing a job and it elevates the arm bone, then you'll get impingement that way as well. And sometimes there's just inflammation in here because you may have fallen or done something on the shoulder that created an inflammatory response there. So the physiotherapist's job is to first to work out where the impingement's coming from. And then we need to decide if we can get there with just rehabilitative exercises to strengthen and stabilize the arm bone in the socket to stop it impinging, whether we need to change things in your technique with either swimming or racket sports that are causing the problem, or whether we actually need to go in and maybe provide some relief of those inflammatory symptoms by injecting a small amount of corticosteroid into the subacromial space. The effect that will have is reduce the inflammation in that space, therefore allow more space for these structures to slide and pass through over top of each other, and therefore you're less likely to get that impingement. Anyone who presents with a shoulder problem, before we do any injection, we'll always scan them and make sure we assess all of their structures either side of their problem to make sure that we are doing a thorough assessment and not treating something blindly. When we inject these conditions, We'll always do it under ultrasound guidance so we can see exactly where our needle is going. And that means we can avoid any structures that we don't want to put a needle through. It also makes it far more effective because it's targeting in exactly the right location and much more likely to uh, have a more therapeutic treatment effect.